Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA's new software, RTX Voice. Is it any good? How it works? And especially if you use one of these things, how could this benefit you? Coming right up. Yo, and so you're probably wondering, what does this guy know about sound suppression software and how could it benefit me? Well, first off, I have now been streaming on Twitch and content creating on YouTube for roughly about two years. Uh, I've been through a fair number of microphones, messed around with uh, thresholds, noise gates and sound suppression software, especially seen as this is a beat em up channel and I use one of these. Now, for anyone that didn't live through the golden era of arcades and does not know what the hell this thing is, this is my weapon of choice, an arcade stick. And for anyone what knows, these things make a hell a lot of noise. That most of the time comes across on stream and sounds damn right horrible. So, without further ado, NVIDIA has released RTX Voice. Now, I've given this thing a couple of trial runs, and this thing is magic. In my opinion, for anyone who uses peripherals, like if you, for instance, if you're playing a bit of Call of Duty Warzone and you're quite heavy on your keys, or if you've got a noisy PC and the fans are burning rubber in the background and you can hear that wearing and you want to cut all that sort of stuff out, yes, sound suppression software does work to a certain extent. Most of those things will always try and alter the sound of your voice a little bit and you will get a little bit of distortion. The RTX voice actually works via AI. So what that does is it recognizes your, the sound of your voice and after so long of you pressing a few buttons or clicks of the mouse or things like that, it will recognize the things that aren't your voice and completely cut those out. Witchcraft, you may think. And I'm going to show you an example of me playing with the RTX voice off and with the RTX voice on. I'll also put in the description down below the link to NVIDIA's site and where you can actually download this software for free as it is still in beta testing, I believe, at the moment. Okay, guys, so th this is standard stream setup that I would use when I'm streaming or content creating for YouTube. Um, what I've actually done uh, for this demo, I've actually dropped the game sound right down, so obviously all you can really hear is my voice and what's going on with the stick. So this is what you would normally hear. This is without RTX voice on, okay? Here's what you would hear at your end. Okay, you hearing that? You are hearing a lot of button pressures. A lot of noise, right? Yeah? A lot of mashing. Now, we've enabled RTX voice, and this is what's gonna happen now. So, same settings, same game volume, everything. You'll probably hear some of the button pressures to start with until the, pro, uh, until the program recognizes and differentiates what is actually my voice and what is actually a button press or something external. So, here we go. Okay, so we're starting to get there now. I think it's starting to re it's re probably recognize which is me pressing a button and which is me not, and which is also me talking. Now you're always gonna probably hear something slightly, but as I think you can probably agree, the results are ridiculous. It doesn't change the sound of my voice. Okay, so we're going to enable a bit of game sound. And the other thing which is beneficial for this
is I don't always wear headphones when I'm playing. Obviously for beat em ups. Thing, people who play Call of Duty, things like that, it's slightly different. You need to hear the footsteps, you need to hear everything going off around you. For a fighting game, I like to hear the sound coming out of my speakers. Now, obviously, when we're streaming and recording, I have to have that sound on really low so that the microphone doesn't pick it up. What this thing also does is, as well as eliminating, obviously, the noise from external things like that, I can crank this game sound up full whack and you will get no reverb through the mic or no echo on the game sound. Now, I've just cranked that up full whack there and that is picking nothing up extra on top of what you're hearing I can see the I can see the mic then. gains and it's picking no external sound up there apart from my voice crazy shit right crazy shit so pretty good so far right uh, if you think this will benefit you and I don't see why it wouldn't if you're a streamer or a, especially a gamer, or you've got a lot of sound going off in the background that you've been trying for years to get rid of, and nothing's really worked. Like I said, I will put the link below, but you could just type in RTX Voice in the Google. First one is the NVIDIA site, which it will bring up. And it will give you a step-by-step -step guide of how to download this thing and get this working. Now, the good thing about RTX Voice, it will actually support Discord, OBS Studio, Streamlab, XSplit, Twitch Studio, all your main streaming platforms. So this will work with any of those. One of the things it does say here is requirements. To use RTX Voice, you must be using an NVIDIA GeForce RTX or Quadro RTX graphics card. Now, I have seen people put posts up. This does actually work also with a GTX card. There's just something slight you have to change in the config file. Uh, what I will do is I'll try and find the link to that as well. And I will also post that in the description below. It will run through, like we've said, the supported apps. The setup guide, it is so easy to use this as well. You might be thinking, do I need A-level shit to be able to get this thing working? It is literally this little box here and you press the tick for yes or no whether you want this thing on. You can even select the slide for how strong you want the noise suppression to work. That was actually working at 100%. I have tested it on roughly around 75 to 80% and it does still work. So it all depends on how loud the actual noises are you have got going on around you. It will also run through how you implement this thing in Discord, all your different streaming platforms. Myself, I use uh, Streamlabs OBS. It's really easy to set up in that. Under the mic setting, all you're doing is, is instead of selecting your standard mic, there will now be a drop down for your mic using the NVIDIA RTX voice and you just select that. So. What do we think, guys? For me, this thing is a piece of wizardry. We've been waiting for years for something like that to come out, especially what's going to nullify sounds like arcade sticks or any other major peripherals you've got going on in the background. But let me know what you think in the comments below about the RTX voice. If you think it will benefit you, like I said, I have put a link in the description below. If you found this video useful, please leave some comments, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when we put new videos up. And as always, Peace out, guys, and stay safe.